Alright guys, Asian Gar here with my droid camera because my camera just died and I don't feel like waiting. Um, this, uh, if you haven't seen the review for my Wing Zero, it is up, but that is not why I'm doing this review. In the mail today, I got the Wing Gundam version Ka and the Master Grade Death Scythe EW which is the version Ka, but Endless Waltz. Um, the reason why they're renaming it Endless Waltz is because they're, I don't know, there's a new manga coming out called, what is it, Glory of the Defeated, Endless Waltz, Glory of the Defeated, and pictures are up from Nigi Kyong, and it seems like, let me just turn on my left, see here, all right. And here is Nigi Kyo. I will post up the link at the bottom of my video. And a few pictures are up of the main chapter. And it seems like it's a re... Like a reimagining, Or not a remake, but... Well, yeah. Of the whole series, but in manga form. Using the version Kotoki designs. And I am clearly not opposed to that. I love it so. This is one... Picture. And the reason why I say it's a reimagining because here is Trey's and here is Zex. Zex is still in his mask and Trey's is still alive. So, with that being said, if it is a reimagining it, I would love it if someone would or who reads Japanese were to like scan like this. I would love it so much. Anyways, really excited about that. But onto the model kits themselves. I'll do this on the ground. I feel like it's just a lot better. Of course this kit came out Thursday and this came kit came out in two thousand four. Which that kit is based off of. And let's get to opening the box. Let me put the camera down, hold on. One note is that on the bottom left of the Death Scythe box, you can clearly see the Wing Gundam version Ka. And on the sides, you have these magnificent uh, pictures of Death Scythe. And the shield. And here you have it with the Master Grade Wing Gundam, and there you have it with its Death Scythe Hell custom, and pictures from Endless Waltz, which I just watched like two seconds ago, and other pictures of the version Katoki redesigns. And my camera's not focusing, or it's just not okay, it's not focusing. Anyways, onto the parts. I would imagine these are the head. You can see it has a gaping hole. So that would imply that the yellow part is a separate piece. Pictures there, the, the decals, or stickers I meant to say. This looks like inner frame. The yellow, I love the yellow they use in these kits. It's like an orange yellow, which I'm gonna start using now when I paint mine. Was it leg armor, I suppose? Um, yeah. Foot armor. More leg armor. Effect parts look huge. Yeah, they do. Mm. And I'm um, guessing more inner frame. Cool. One thing to note is that the box or the manual is version uh, reminiscent of the Hajime Katoki manuals with the names up here, the white background, and the model. Except this is this has more zoomed in for the fade effect, where this is just the 
box art picture. And as over here you can see, this is zero two, right? Yeah, zero two. So zero three would be heavy arms. Cool. Maybe we got heavy arms next. All right. So as you can tell, if this thing learns how to focus, it shows the TV versions of Wing Gundam, Death Scythe, Heavy Arms, Sand Rock, Shenlong, and then it shows the version Ka or the Endless Waltz. Glory of the Defeated version of Wing Gundam, Death Scythe, Heavy Arms, Sand Rock, and Shenlong. And over here shows some pictures from... So, some kits from the Endless Wolf series. These are the... These are the high grades. Another black and white. Uh, parts. More info. And a beautiful color spread. Like... Right here it's mentioning the Wing Gundam version Ka, the Endless Waltz Wing Zero. This is a 3D render? Is that a 3D render? It might be. A 3D render of the Death Scythe and Zuo. And another one. And more pictures. I do like the version Katoki designs because they look, do look cleaner. Alright, and the uh, colors you will need for this kit listed as so. Alright, and the Wing Gundam version Ka. You get the. What is it? Are these like. The, oh, these are like the barrels for the rifle. And you get not a gray, but like a brown inner frame. Like a grayish brown inner frame, which is different. I like it. I don't know if I'll keep it when I paint it. A blue, which is a lighter blue from the, from the wing gun them. I don't know if you can tell the difference. And the red, which is the same red, actually. Uh, two beam sabers, a the yellow part for the wings, which, like I said before, I love that color yellow. And the rifle itself, the white part of the wings here, the white armor and the shield there, the A plate, right? Is the A plate? Yes, the A plate. With all, of course, all the different colors. Um, more exterior, this is probably the leg, yep, and the inner leg armor. Alright, on to the manual. This is a thick manual too. Cause like, like if you can hear that compared to this, the pages are thicker. Um, here it shows Wing Gundam, Wing Zero, uh, the version Ka of all the Gundams plus their endless waltz counterparts. As I said before, see. We, our heavy arms is just a recolor, sand rock is just a recolor. Death Scythe is the same but has the bat wings. Shenlong is the same but recolor and has the two dragons. So, yeah, if they do, if this whole Endless Waltz Glory Defeated manga is a remake, I am totally down for it. This is a nice picture spread. And with all version cockets, you get a colored. Where'd it go? No, I can't find it. Aha! A colored back page for the decals. Which looks awesome. I might do the Death Scythe first since I already built the Wing Gundam version. Ka, technically. And once again, yeah, I'm very excited for this manga. Wish I could read Japanese. I can't, so hopefully there will be a group that is willing to scanlate it. Hey Zangar, and I will be back with the reviews for the Death Scythe and the Wing Gundam.